Say it loud. I'm not proud. Actually, repeat after me. I'm enough and I'm proud. I'm enough and I'm proud. How did that make you feel? It made me feel empowered and confident, just as it did the first time a voice whispered, you are enough. I remember like it was yesterday, but it wasn't yesterday. It was five years ago. In the fall of 2018, as I took my final lap on my morning run, a small voice whispered, you are enough. The voice startled me because I thought my mind was playing tricks on me. I had my AirPods in, I was blasting my gospel music, I was getting in shape, getting my life right, and I stopped in my tracks. I removed my AirPods, I looked around to see who was there, but there was no one there. Popped my AirPods back in, finished my run, returned home, got dressed, and off to work I go. Well, when I got to work, the mysterious voice resonated in my spirit. And so, as I prepared to take flight that day, I did what I always do before takeoff. I began to pray. As I began to close my prayer out, the voice comes back. And this time it says, it's time to confess. Now that's what the voice said. But what I heard was, it's time to live in your truth, not guilty. Oh my God, I knew for sure that was the sound of God's voice telling me it is time to release myself from the private prison that I created. Earlier that year, some obstacles sent me into this private prison. I lost my business. I lost my dear friend. Oh, she didn't die, but she was dead to me. <laughs> Those two losses alone Friends, those two losses alone stirred up some pain from my past. Yes, my childhood trauma reared its ugly head, and I found myself living in unforgiveness, consumed with anger. The impact of these obstacles left me in a season of brokenness. I lost everything, my business, my friend, my mind, my confidence, gone. I began to have these anger outbursts, mental meltdowns. I began to question the core of my identity. Who am I? My heart had hardened. I slipped into a major depression. I found myself locked in my pain prison, serving time for a crime that I did not commit. This went on for about a year. So then I was with one of my good friends. She's so sweet. And she witnessed one of these mental meltdowns. And so she, was, she pulled me to the side. She says, Tina, I think you should see a therapist. That's what she said. But what I heard was, girl, you crazy. <laughs> I said, mm-mm, get somebody else to do it. <laughs> because you see, I was in a season where I trusted no one. But there was somebody that I did trust, so I, my girl was right, because that was awful what I did, so I called my mentor. I said, let me call my mentor. So I called my mentor up, and she gave me a sweet reminder. She says, Tina, you know a setback is a setup for a comeback. Now that's what she said. But what I heard was perseverance, resilience, and determination. So me being in this season of not trusting anyone, I knew there was one constant in my life who would never leave me, never fail me, never betray me. And that was my father in heaven. So I, so I called upon him in the depths of my despair. And what he did was he sequestered me into an isolation chamber with him a.k.a. my healing journey. Okay, it was different than the private prison. See, in the private prison, it was self-doubt, self-sabotage, just, just a bad place to be. But with God, I unpacked all that trauma. I began journaling my thoughts. I found self-love. I started living positive on purpose, and I found my worth. God showed me that I had been trapped in my trauma. Who's whispering in your ear? Who's whispering in your ear? You see that whisper that I got from God in 2018? Oh, baby, by the spring of 2019, it was loud and clear. 
I had forgiven myself. I had forgiven the pain of my past. I had forgiven my friend. I found purpose in my pain. I was back serving in ministry, back in the gym, getting these legs right. So I knew it, I was gonna walk in purpose. I was accomplishing new goals. You see, life, friends, is full of challenges and setbacks and failures. We call them obstacles. They come in different forms with the power to knock us down, make us feel like giving up as if we can't move forward. Mine were failure, past trauma, and unforgiveness. Despite the obstacle, I kept going. It wasn't easy, but I did it. I found strength in my faith. I learned from my mistakes and I tried again. I got uncomfortable, baby. I got real uncomfortable, tried new things, explored new opportunities. Baby, I applied for loud and clear. <laughs> so I'm here to tell you today, remind you that the greatest victories come from the hardest battles. We all have the power within to overcome anything life throws our way. For me, authenticity, resilience, and transformation is the art of overcoming obstacles. Say it proud. I'm an overcomer and I'm loud.